Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I get my everyday flawless glowy brown skin. First I'm going to start off by priming my face using my Smashbox face primer and this helps to do everything I need to do which is help my makeup stay in all day since I get up about 6 o'clock in the morning almost every day and I don't come home till after 9 so it helps to keep my makeup looking flawless all day and it also helps to minimize my very large holes that I have on the sides of my nose so it's a great uh, primer even though it is high end so it's a little bit more pricey but it works amazingly next thing I do is color correct so for us brown girls or um, any anyone similar to my skin tone whether that be lighter or darker if you have any dark spots like blackheads or um, any dark spots under your eyes from lack of sleep like I do um, you want to use a peach color corrector what this basically does is color correct the darkness so that whenever you add your foundation or your concealer or your BB cream over you won't see it so it's just going to basically help to give you help and help aid it in that flawless look that you want to get so this, this step is optional, but just because my skin hasn't been at its best, I do color correct almost every day. Then I like to fill in my brows in the meantime. I don't like to pile my makeup on uh, one on top of the other. I just like to let it sit for 30 seconds to a minute before I do something else. So I'm just filling my browsing in the meantime. Then here's pretty much the secret to getting the glowy skin. It's BB cream and this is Maybelline's BB cream in deep. They only have about three shades and my shade is deep and a little goes a long way with this product. I'm using an L foundation brush and it's better to use a synthetic brush just because it, this product is so lightweight that any other brush would really absorb it. So I just eat, put that on my face and then I start blending it out. And even though it does look a little bit lighter, that's just my lighting, but it definitely molds to the color of your skin after you blend it out. So um, I do like the product. It is very dewy. If you, if you have oily skin like me, you're gonna wanna set that. Um, but if you have dry skin or you have um, some sort of combination skin that involves dry skin, this would be an amazing product for you. So I just use that on my face and don't forget to bring that down to your neckline just so you don't have a line of demarcation because that would be cute. And so I just use that and I blend it out on my face. But after I let this sit for 30 seconds to a minute, I am going to go in with a powder brush which is Elf's blush brush and I'm just going to give it one more blend just to make sure I don't have any streaking. This brush is Elf's brush, so it's only like $3, and I got mine from Target, but this brush is amazing. I use it from blending, to contouring, to blending out my concealer, to setting my makeup with powder. I use it for everything, so it's definitely a brush that I recommend you guys getting into still. It's only $3, so. Um, then what I like to do next is just basically finish the rest of my face. So I'm going to be concealing, and I'm just using this basic generic concealer palette. I'm going to leave a link to it in the bottom, but um, you can find it on Amazon or teenmart.com or any website like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the high points of my face, which would be my forehead, chin, cupid's bow, under my eyes, and I'm adding that a little bit below my cheekbone just to give them a little bit more of a pop um, before I contour, and that's just going to aid in giving me that more chiseled look.
After blending that out, I'm going to be setting my makeup using Maybelline Fit Me Powder and the shade is in 360 and I'm going to set that using the same brush. While I let that sit, I'm going to work on my lips and I'm using NYC's dark brown pencil, which is the same thing I use on my eyebrows too. So you can always use something for a multi-purpose so you don't have to buy even more. But I use that to line my lips um, because I'm going to be using a light pink lipstick. And for us brown girls, you want to make sure to line your lips before adding a lighter toned lipstick just so you don't get that ashy look. I'm going to be using my favorite lipstick and it's by Rimmel London Kate Collection and it's the number 104 and it's probably my favorite pink lipstick of all time and this is probably my second time in purchasing it so it is a really good lipstick that I really like and I do recommend that product as well. contouring and I'm using another Maybelline Fit Me powder. Um, this time I'm using the number 360 and I do believe that their darkest shade which is cappuccino. And of course I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to use that to contour just to give myself a little bit more of a chiseled look. Then I'm going to load up my lashes with my favorite mascara which is Benefits They Are Real and I'm going to be applying that to my top and bottom lashes. The last thing I do is highlight, which this step is also optional. I brought a, an e.l.f.'s um, blush and bronzer duo, two shades too light, so I'm just going to use that as a highlight and apply that shimmer to the top of my cheeks and to the high points of my face just to add a little bit of shimmer. And so that's pretty much it for looking. You guys know I gotta take a selfie. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you haven't yet, my Instagram is at me to be who with a lowercase m. And I've already decided on what picture I want to post, and it's already up there. Um, you guys will see it before this video. But if you're not following me, go ahead and follow me there. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Twitter as well. And subscribe, please, if you haven't yet. And comment below. And let me know if you like this video, if I was helpful. And here's how this looks in natural lighting. So as you guys can tell. It's very, very natural looking, so it's very, very flawless. So if I help you in any way, let me know in the comment section, and I will see you guys in another video.